Okay, I solved the system of equations. We have 4x minus 2y equals negative 6, and then y equals 3x minus 3. We need to find the x and y values. Circle your equals, and do you have a letter by itself? You do. You have y. That's your base. It's equal to 3x minus 3. I'll put plus negative there. You can't. Now write your off base, 4x plus negative 2y equals negative 6. Okay, so y is the base, so you parenthesize y. Okay. If x is the base, you parenthesize x. Okay, if y is the base, you parenthesize y. Then 3x plus negative 3. Okay, so you got 4x plus negative 2 times 3x plus negative 3 equals negative 6. Okay, now you distribute. Drop your plus. Negative 2 times 3x is negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is 6. Then you add the 4x. Okay, V your x's and you add 4 plus negative 6 is negative 2x plus 6 equals negative 6. So you minus 6 from each side. Negative 2 dot x. Negative 6 minus 6 is negative 12. And divide each side by negative 2. And negative 12 divided by negative 2 is 6. x equals 6. To find y, you put 6 in for x. Okay, right there. So that means 3 times 6 plus negative 3. y equals 3 times 6 plus negative 3. I got 15. So y equals 15. Okay, next problem. 3x plus 2y equals 4, negative 7x plus negative 5y equals negative 7. I do not have either one of the variables by themselves, so we have no base, so we make use the elimination method. Okay. We do not have the same here or here, you're multiplying. Okay by negative 7 and by 3. So you times the rest of this by negative 7, you times the rest of this by 3. Negative 7 times 3x is negative 21x. Negative 7 times 2y is negative 14y. Negative 7 times 4 is negative 28. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21x. Negative 5 times 3 is negative 15y. Negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. Okay. Now you have the same here, but they're both negative. They cannot both be negative. You need to make this positive. Okay. Now, these also have to go into their opposite. What's the opposite of negative 15? Positive 15. What's the opposite of negative 21? Positive 21. Now you're adding, okay? So negative 21 plus 21 is 0, okay? Negative 15, 14 plus 15 is 1y. Negative 28 plus positive 21 is negative 7. Now you're good to go. Divide by 1, and you got negative 7. So y equals negative 7. Okay, now use your first equation. 3x plus 2y equals 4. Negative 7 goes in for y. So you put a times dot. Now you have negative 7. So first thing you got to do is multiply 2 and negative 7. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. So we have 3x plus negative 14 equals 4. 
so you add 14. 4 plus 14 is 18. Then you divide each side by 3. And x equals 6. 6, negative 7. Okay, story problems. You worked 14 hours last week and earned $96. Your life, your job as a lifeguard pays $8. Your job as a cashier pays $6 per hour. How many hours did you work at each job? You gotta label your table. Don't be lazy about that. So you got together. How many units? Per unit and total. Okay. Money total, money per unit, and then lifeguard, cashier. You can see the things I've got highlighted lifeguard, cashier, money. That's in bold. That's three units. Okay. Together, how many units per unit? total, okay, then the two independent units are the lifeguard and the cashier hours, okay, then money per unit, money total. What's the money total together? Read the table. Together, money total, the money total is $96. Cross it out. Now, fill out the top row. I, I fill out every box but that one, okay? Okay, if it's not a money amount, it goes here. The only money amount I see is 14, okay? You worked 14 hours last week. Does that say lifeguard? No. Read the problem. Does it say cashier? No. Does it say more than? No. So it's together. Now, what do I put here and here? You put X and Y. So x plus y equals 14. That's an equation. The hours you worked as a lifeguard plus the hours as a cashier equal the hours together. Now you're looking for the dollars per unit. Okay, eight dollars is lifeguard. Six dollars is cashier. Then I take x times eight. That's eight x. And then y times 8, or y times 6 is 6y. And there's your other equation. Now circle where you have equations with variables, here and here. That's two of them. You stack them up.
8 goes in for y. Okay, okay 1 times 8 is 8, so it'll be 1x plus 8 equals 14. Minus 8, minus 8, 14 minus 8 is 6. Tickets to a movie theater cost $2 more for adults than they do for children. Yesterday, 300 adults and 500 children were admitted into the theater, and the total amount was $4,600. Find how much an adult pass cost, how much a children's pass cost. So we got adults, children, and dollars. Those are all in bold. So make your table. Together, how many units per unit and total? Okay, so the independent units are your adults and children. <coughs> then, money total, money per unit. What's your money total together? get $4,600. This has to be, it says money total. You got to find your money total together. Okay. 4,600. Now fill out, the, cross that out. Fill out your top row. Okay. What numbers do you have that are not money? Well, I got 300 and 500. Yesterday, 300 adults. So 300. 500 children, so together, 300, what's 300 plus 500? It's 800. Now, this is the part where this screws up Ladia, okay? It says $2 more. Put a plus sign with the 2. You don't use Y. You use X plus 2, since it's 2, and then X in the other box here, okay? That's what you use. You're putting that in one box, that in the other. Okay? But it can't be just wherever you feel like. Read the problem. Tickets to a movie theater cost $2 more for adults than they do for children. The adults cost more, so you put X plus 2 for adults. Okay? If it said, now, if that were flipped and it said $2 more for children, it'd be X plus 2 for children, X for adults. But when you see that more than, you put X plus the number and X. Okay? An X, okay? No Y, no Y. More than you use X plus a number and X. X plus a number and X. Now, distribute, okay? So, since you got a plus sign here, you need to do your rainbows. So I take 300 times X, that's 300 X plus and then you take 300 times 2. 600. Then 500 times x is just 500x. Well, no equation there. No equa This is the only equation you've got. Write it out and solve it. V your X's. 300X plus 500X is 800X. Plus 600 equals 4,600. Wall dot circle. You minus 600. Minus 600, that's 4,000. Divide by 800. Divide by 800, and that's 5. Okay? Now, which answer is five? What box has here? What box has the letter X just all by itself, all by its lonesome? Okay, not there, not there, not there. That has a plus two. There's X all by itself. Cross it out and put five, five children. Now, about the adults. Well, go over to the box right next to it. 
and put 5 in for x because that's your answer, 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Okay. Okay, last problem. A website allows users to download songs or albums. One individual paid $14.94 to download five songs and one album. Another individual pays $22.95 to download three songs and two albums. How much does a website charge to download a song? How much for an album? So together, how many units? Per unit and total. So you got money, songs, albums. The independent units are the songs and the albums. Then money total, money per unit. Okay. All right. So money total. So you got fourteen ninety four and twenty two ninety five. The if it says money total, these have to be dollar numbers. Okay. So 14.94, 22.95. Those are two totals. Okay, how many non-money? Well, I got those, that, that, and this. Okay, five songs, one album. Three songs, two albums. Add those, you get six. Add those, you get five. Okay. Scribble that out. You don't have any numbers left, so you put x, x, y, y, because these are unknown. So 5 times x is 5x, 3 times x is 3x, 1 times y, 1y, 2 times y, 2y, and here's the equations. There's two of them, okay? So we stack them. So 5x plus 1y equals 14.94. 3x plus 2y equals 22.95. 5 and 3, so times 3 times 5. Times 3 times 5 times 5. It's going to be 15x plus 3y, and then 3 times 14, 44.82. In the bottom, you're going to get 15x plus 10y equals 414.75. Okay, so negative, negative, negative. Remember, you're plusing these. So 0x, okay? That's the only way it comes 0. That's neg add them, negative 7y. 3 plus negative 10. Then I go 44.82 plus negative 114.75. Negative 69.93. Okay. 9.99. Okay. So you go into your Y's, 9.99, 9.99, that's your albums. Now, use your first equation. Okay, Y is 9.99. That's 9.99. So you got 5X. Plus 9.99 equals 14.94. By the way, when you multiply 1 by something, it's just itself. So you got 5 times x. Ninety nine cents, zero point ninety nine, okay. 